here. Oh, thank you. Everything's in order. He seems concerned about something, does he? Is there anything we can help you with? Mm. Do you sell gift bags here? Uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic <laughs> grocery bag in the back I could get for you. Mm. Oh, that stare. <laughs> so cold. Blast processing, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Ah, no, I'm good. Okay, so that's that's Shadow. All right, who's that thing with the horn for a Oh, nose? that's that's Espio, the the main character of Sonic High School. <laughs> Are you joking? No. Is that's like an OC character from Sonic High School? No. But, oh, okay. uh, but he's SPO is like a minor character in the games, but but in Sonic I High mean. School over time, uh, SPO becomes sort of like the main character. So, out of all of these characters that are actually big in in Sonic, they put the Sonic High School main character in this. Yes, I mean SPO and Vector are like they they are Sonic characters. It's just that they're like they're not like. Okay, we can also talk to the serving arm. I would like to see its ticket. Okay. Mmm, mm. yummy. Don't mind if I do. Blast processing, those are for our guests, you know. Train, be sure blast processing only gets one of those if they ask. Oh, it's the train itself. Oh. Arm. I want a canapé. <sighs> Did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, uh, train, the conductor <laughs> wants me to have the whole plate. <laughs> Hmm. Aww. Ho 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 ho, good try, young buck. The <gasps> train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat. Those snacks look really tasty, too. Well, okay, then we'll talk to Espio. <laughs> oh, could we please see your ticket? Uh, I don't know what sort of voice he has, so I'm just gonna say, Of course. Ah, there we go. Excellent, thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely, I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. He's, he's carrying a rose. Do you think he's the romantic type? You consider me calming? <gasps> he's looking right at me. Maybe I should... Oh, S SPO, oh. because he's an esper, he's right? An so esper. He, can, he can read your mind. Gotcha. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow. <laughs> Ninjutsu? That sounds like a lot there we of go. Now difficult we're, training. Now we're leaning into the edge lordiness of Sonic. <sighs> can you cling onto walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. <laughs> the conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. <clears throat> Alright, so that's Espio. So, Vector? Vector? Sure. Yeah. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I, I seem to have um, misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He is not hiding his embarrassment very well. Oh, don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Oh, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. I should try that next time I ride without a ticket. Oh, yeah. You know, I did that last time. In 1996. Something <laughs> on purpose, at least. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was a I was a rascal when I was young. I also rode without a ticket at it's, the time. It's much easier to do in Vienna than here. Yeah, that's true. You don't have any turnstiles. <clears throat> um, da, 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 da. have we talked to Amy? No, we have not. We shall ask the birthday girl whether she got a ticket for her own party. Yeah, there we go. Hee <laughs> hee, why certainly. Yeah, she got a ticket. 
Thank you, miss, and thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped, huh? Wow, you're a cheapskate, Amy. Uh, who doesn't love a good bargain? I do. And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? <laughs> You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Okay, oh fine. God. I feel called out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along, for you, miss. Oh, have fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? Well, that unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. What? Yeah, mm-hmm. The birthday key. No, of course. Everyone's heard about the birthday key. Obviously. Very useful. I will use this wisely. Thank you. Well, there's Amy. All right. Let's talk to whatever the purple thing next to her is. Oh, I'm trying to remember her name, but I can't remember well, it. Oh, we're about to find out. Yeah, 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 yeah. May I have your ticket, please? Oh. Oh, 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 thank you very much. On, on top of it, I see. But I need to know what she's called. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Blaze. There Bla we go. Uh, what sort of voice? I don't, I don't know what sort of voice Blaze the cat has, but um. Blaze the cat. Blaze the, the cat. That's supposed to be a cat. Yeah. Uh, a yeah. princess such as myself must always be. Punctual. There we go. We just make something up. It's fine. It's Sonic. It doesn't She's matter. She's calling herself a princess. <gasps> P princess? Did she just say princess? Well, if you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually? Well, la di da A separate what now? Just here for Amy's birthday, and then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I know she hangs out with Silver the Hedgehog uh, in like um, in in some games, and he's also sort of like this sort of like time and space hopper or whatever. So I guess I guess that tracks. I think I think that tracks. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. You see, in my world, the birthday cakes are made from poop. I don't know why we do it that way. Oh, ho, ho, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. S sh sh should I bow? Do I bow before princess? <laughs> what, what are you doing? <laughs> Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? Aw. All right. So I guess Rouge and then we move on to the main cast over here. All right. Rouge the Bat. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Oh, good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my. How forward. Let me fetch Just it for dig you. Dig it up out of her crotch. There we go. No, but it did look like she picked it out of her boob cleavage thing. That's most likely what they implied. Come back if you need anything else. You hear? <laughs> wow. She's so polite, very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Oh, I'm such a rascal. <laughs> she is such a rascal. <laughs> and the conductor is just like... That's why she hangs out with, with Shadow. Oh, this was yours? <laughs> Must have slipped out. Here you go. And it's a thing, it's a thing in the games that uh, Knuckles, like, really, really, really wants to get into her pants. Right. Yeah. I somehow, and I'm not sure, but I somehow vaguely recall that echidnas have some weird thing going on with their genitals, so... <laughs> they have a four-pronged penis, yes. Yeah, okay. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway. No, uh, if we're gonna be talking about that. <laughs> 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 anyway, I may not actually be the best at judging character. I think Plague of Gripes also has made some some animations about Rouge the Bat and and Knuckles. Of course he has. Yeah. 
So from the from the Sonic Boom uh, TV series, we also know that I, Knuckles. I, I found the ticket. Yeah, Knuckles has pretty much the voice of Seth Rogen. That's sort of what he sounds like. Okay. I don't know how to do a Seth Rogen voice, but that's kind of it. What's st sticking out of the napkin holder? Ah. Uh, mm. Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to us rightful owner. And let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Mm-hmm. Lost ticket, add it to your inventory. Look at that, we can even inspect it. Yeah. So sad to see a ticket alone and confused like this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There we go. Find anything yet? Well, we just might have what you need. Blast processing, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? Hey, is he wearing like an apron with blood on it? Um... Yes. <laughs> yes, I don't know why. Okay. Oh. Ah, there it is. That's my ticket. Thanks so much to you both. I was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. Ho ho ho, old blast processing here would have their hands full kicking you out. I You're sure right. would. I wouldn't leave without a fight. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, is he supposed to be a villain in the game? Well, no, just sort of like a cool, cool sidekick. I think he's been on both sides, I think. I know who killed Sonic. <laughs> yes, it's SPO. Dr. Robotnik. <sighs> it's not even here. Yeah. Yeah, good good guess, though. Uh, wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? No, you're both all right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Well, of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Well, all right. Knuckles? Knuckles. There we go. Holy, could I please get your ticket? Uh, oh, it's all crinkled up. I, th I, I think that's a ticket. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. No, because unlike Sonic, he does not chuckle. Yeah, and I'm, <laughs> I'm really scared that he's gonna, like, turn out to be an exhibitionist, and I don't want to see that thing. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. No. Why? Just because he's like got his hand bunched in a fist with cat ears on it? No, it's supposed to be like uh, knuckle dusters. Like he's got spiked. No, no, it's under cat ears. Blood. Yes, that must be it. Hmm. <laughs> okay, that's all Knuckles had to say. All right. Tails. Tails. Ah, uh, did you do you know that his name is a pun? Uh, his, 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 Tails is just his nickname. His actual name is, uh, Miles Prower. Miles Prower. He can travel many miles per hour. Oh. There you go. Uh, yeah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> can I get your ticket, young'un? Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. What? It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. <laughs> no way. I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too. Mm -hmm. It's my first day, and I was a little nervous. And mm. what the hell? Sparkling gelatin. Doesn't that sound just great? Ugh. Don't be nervous, you're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. Is Tails gonna be our, our Watson because he's already dressed like Watson? He, he is dressed like a detective, yeah. So he's, he, I guess he's the one who's gonna solve the mystery. Yeah, absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. I know, right? And finally, the star of the show. Ticket, please. <gasps> Oh, thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself on board. Yeah, everyone has to just be constantly be sucking Sonic's dick. That is that is a requirement in any Sonic media that everyone must always be looking at Sonic. And if Sonic is not in the shot, everyone will have to be constantly asking, where is Sonic? <laughs> but no one ever stops to ask, why is Sonic? <laughs> why is Sonic? 
<laughs> Don't worry about it. I just like helping, cause I'm a cool guy. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst. <laughs> what? But my kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did. Okay, cause I, I thought that like we were in a world where Eggman has taken over, but I guess I guess not. Well, I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. I mean, would they be having a birthday party on an idyllic train if an evil person had taken over the world? It would be fun if he takes over and he's just, like, not that bad and just, you know, pushes through some social reforms. <laughs> yeah, just some... some. <laughs> no, his thing was he wanted to turn everyone into robots. He created, like, a robot virus. That so he's turned... a conservative? Uh, <laughs> kinda, kinda. Want to just turn everyone into automaton working like, slaves. I would like you to all remember where the word robot comes from. It's just the Russian word for work. Oh. Robota. Oh. I did not know that. Yeah. You seem to know a suspicious amount of things about Russian society. No, but I did take two <laughs> semesters of Russian at some point oh in my, my 20s because I was bored. Have I married a sleeper agent? <laughs> no, I, I gave up because like Russian cursive, which was a requirement to write and read, was just impossible. It all looks like the letter M. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'll show you pictures after we're done. Russian cursive. Ostensibly, right. it's different letters, but it doesn't look like it is. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Because I'm a good guy. Hmm. Wait a second. Is, is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? You didn't recognize him? Really? He saved the world and you were just like, oh, you're wearing like a Navy uniform. I didn't recognize you in that. <laughs> oh, I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yeah, yeah, have fun now. Ooh, you're starstruck. We'll do. Thanks. Maybe I'm the murderer. <gasps> okay, everyone. Time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. <gasps> ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yo? Yeah? You will do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absol oh, absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems pr plenty capable on their own. And train? Assist blast processing if they need any help, won't you? I have to say the sentence, assist blast processing, sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor and his train. <sighs> yes, they're married. Is that his wife? Yes. The one that wants to go to Spangonia. Spangonia. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. every night he kisses and has sex with the train. Well, it looks like it can... Uh... Oh, oh, okay. I made a gesture there. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state-of-the-art and has systems for dealing with all of that. Just like a modern pooper. Mm. For everything else, please talk to Blast Processing here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit God I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Lore cards? Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense. Lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderous intentions. Mm -hmm. Now, on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required for it's my birthday. <sighs> Participation is mandatory. So it's fun. Have fun, y'all. I like how you already realized that Amy is just like the biggest fucking wet blanket. It's like, oh, go fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, 
<laughs> it's very obvious. <laughs> and she is in love with Sonic because obviously all the ladies are. Ugh. She is supposed to be sort of his love interest. She is actually one of, like, th th those are the four main characters. It's like Sonic, Amy, Knuckles, and Tails. <sighs> Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Ooh. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. <laughs> Tails, you were the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find <laughs> you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, <laughs> both in the casino. A tycoon and a titan. Ooh, what's... Yeah, what's yes? the difference? <laughs> there is none. Uh, sounds fun. Mm-hmm. Vector, you're the butcher. Ah, this explains it. There you go. And Espio the poet, both found in the library. Why is the butcher in the library? What, you think like a working class people don't read? <laughs> yes, exactly. What a snob. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. Uh, I don't even, I already don't remember what voice I gave Espio. And do what? Uh, 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 and do what? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something? Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Mm -hmm. hmm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be mousing around with everyone, but then... Oh, so only Tails is supposed to be playing investigator and everyone else just has to wait for Tails to come? That sounds really boring for everyone except for Tails, I actually. <laughs> Did you get all that? Yes. Yep. 